Hi, this is Max Alexander, and this is my professional organization assignment. Um, for this assignment, I chose the American Sportscasters Association, and I chose this association because it is something that um, hits fairly close for me. I've ever since I was little, something I've always been very interested in is sports casting, sports broadcasting, just announcing anything that along those lines has always been something I've been um, very interested in, so I was really excited to learn about this organization. Um, some brief history about it, it was founded in 1979 and it is a non-profit. Um, it has a its own Hall of Fame and it also has a yearly award ceremony that recognizes many sports broadcasters in many different ways. Um, at these awards, people like Muhammad Ali, Arthur Ashe, and Joe DiMaggio have been recognized by them as award winners. Um, they also give something called the Graham uh, McNamee Award. Um, this is given to a broadcaster who goes on to do something else after their career in broadcasting is done and has success or is innovative in that field. Um, Ronald Reagan actually won this award in 1984. And um, many of its members have worked in professional, um, for like very large companies, have done professional sports, large college sports, um, but it also goes all the way down to just your everyday, um, maybe ESPN Plus, whatever you would consider just, you know, um, a different type of broadcaster who's not on that grand stage yet. Um, its mission or vision statement is it aims to promote, support, and better sportscasters and fulfill their needs and interests. It offers guidance to people aiming to be sportscasters, and it promotes professional conduct and standards of ethics and integrity. Um, the, pur the purpose of this organization, so the American Sportscasters Association looks, um, they offer memberships to people who are looking to get into or who are already in the sportscasting field, um, and it helps provide them a place to look for opportunities and build connections with other people in this industry, along with uh, different types of skill building for sportscasters. And they also also offer a service um, where sports teams and organizations can book speakers or broadcasters to work for them. So it's just a large network to either help people find work, um, help people better themselves, so on and so forth. Um, some interesting facts, um, some people in their Hall of Fame include Harry Carey and Vince Scully. Me being big into baseball, those were mostly the biggest names I recognized, but they do have some very acclaimed people in their Hall of Fame. And some of the nominees for their Hall of Fame include Bob Costas, Ian Eagle, uh, Jim Nance, Robin Roberts, Dick Vitale, and Bill Walton, among others. Um, are they tied to any academic journals? Um, they are not, like, directly tied per se. However, um, many members of their board of directors and some of their officers for this group um, have ties to CBS, ESPN, Turner Sports, ABC, MLB Network, Fox, and um, Sporting News Radio, among other large or national radio stations. And lastly, do they have a social media presence? Um, just by looking through their website, searching on different platforms, um, I was not able to find any type of social media presence that they had, and everything kind of seems to stem from their website. Thank you.